or about your interactions with Republicans specifically. You said earlier, they've given me their word. Where I come from, that's good enough for me. To skeptics in your own party, what is it about the conversations you've had recently with Republicans that gives you so much hope? And secondly, you had said earlier you might have more to say about the situation down in South Beach, in Miami. Just curious. Well, I'm going to stick to, I will at the end answer your South Beach question, but let me, so we have some coherence here. Um, number one, I work with a lot of these people who are in the room. I know them. Everybody knows, and you guys know. When certain senators sit, tell you something, they mean it. And others you take, uh, you, you discount. Where I come from in the, my years in the Senate, the single greatest currency you have is your word, keeping your word. Mitt Romney's never broken his word to me. You know, the senator from Alaska and the senator from New Hampshire, they've never broken their word. I'm mean, from Maine. They've never broken their word from their friends. And so the people I with, was with today are people that I trust. I don't agree with them on a lot of things, but I trust them when they say, this is a deal, we'll stick to the deal. Just like I doubt whether you'll find any one of them say they don't trust me when I said, okay, this is the deal on these issues, this is the deal we'll stick with. But for example, there's, and I made it clear today, there's other things in the environment I want to get done. I think we should have the $300 billion tax credit for dealing with uh, the environment. It will be a giant tax cut for corporations, but also be a giant move toward weatherizing every building in America and all the things we need to do. So there's things, and so when I said we agree, I'm not going to go back and renegotiate the Amtrak piece, but I am going to fight for trying to get $300 billion more for tax credits for the environment. That's about the best that I can answer the question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 